this is Yaw Weasel. Let's play Quest for Glory 5. In the last episode, we went to hell. That was fun. Hi, famous adventurer. Do you practice your swimming lessons? Sounds like they are going to come in handy for you. Oh, we actually came back from hell last time. Whatever. How are you, famous adventurer? I've been thinking about your next right. Reminds me of some good times I had a long time ago. Kind of wish I was going with you. Then come with me. What's your name? Hypolita, that's her name. The queen, I mean. She and I, well, we had some times together. She called me Silvertongue. She'll remember me. Okay, Silvertongue. So this right of peace. If you're going to Atlantis, you better find a way to breathe water. Already settled. No way you can get there without drowning otherwise. Okie dokie. How about Atlantis itself? I'll let you in on some well-kept secrets because I know you're a good guy. No, I'm not. Atlantis isn't out in the middle of the sea. It's right smack dab in the middle of the island of Skyrus, in the lake in the center of the island. Yeah, I already Top figured that out. <laughs> those tritons guard those waters pretty thoroughly. Hmm, tell me of its secrets. Well, there are a few secret panels I found in Atlantis. Panels? <laughs> the last side panel of the first sections of the wall had a small secret passage. Got me past a guard, if I recall right. Then there was a big circular tower with a shell on it. Yeah, it had a secret passage on the side that led directly to the throne room. You gotta be very sneaky to use them, though. The Tritons will be doing their best to kill all intruders. Last panel, first hall. And then tower with shell. Got it. If you think of it, you might take the queen some flowers. Tell her they were from me. She might like that. I've got some flowers, and I will say they're from you. You could have just given me some, and then they would be from you, but fine. We'll just make me a liar for no reason. I mean, I was a liar anyway, so whatever. So do I have to... yes. Okay, I can now presumably breathe water because I just equipped the water-breathing amulets. Uh, I have got all the daggers I need. Well, do you have anything to say about, about this situation? Hello? I'm surprised to see you still around. Considering the last right. Yeah, I'm pretty amazing. I learned to swim from the famous adventurer. He gave me a book about it. Yeah, I read that book long ago. Those tritons are bad news. Even if you don't drown trying to fight them, they got spells and everything. They're supposed to talk to the fish and get them to help them too. Most people just drown though. <laughs> well, I've settled that part. I bet you can do this one. Don't know how, but I'm sure you'll win. You better, or we might get stuck with a woman as king of Samaria. Okay, A, sexism, and B, I, can't, I literally can't lose the rights at this point. I have, I have won virtually every right. <laughs> Elsa won one right! One! Every other right was me! There's not even any rights won by anybody else! It's just me! One right by Elsa! All just me! So it doesn't matter! She can't become king! I've already effectively won! I mean, I thought there were only five, I don't know where I got that idea, but still, I am well in the lead here! You don't really need to be that worried about it, guy! Okay. Secondly, I would really much prefer that she win and be king of Silmaria and I can be consort to the king of Silmaria. I'm fine with that. I don't want to be king. I'm an awful person. I'm a thief. You'll notice that I'm also not particularly trying hard to become uh, the the head thief, whatever, <laughs> the, the chief thief, which is also a contest. I just, I haven't bothered. It, it, stop wandering around. Okay. So I know where to go. I just, nah. Something surely can break the, uh, that gate. Because that's going to be the way in. Unquestionably. But I already tried, I think this was on camera, I already tried from Folus getting a spear and getting a sword, and neither were strong enough to break that, that gate. And everything else... I mean, unless I need, like, the super mega sword that I can't afford, or a really quite good spear that I, you know, would have no use for. It could be the super mega spear, but I don't think it's the super mega spear. Something. Ah! <laughs> okay, I, there's another theory, and it comes down to the pepperoni pizza. 
What time is it? It's barely afternoon, so let's spend this day trying to figure out if we can bust in to, to Atlantis. Here we go! <sighs> okay, I've been here before, but previously could not breathe water, so that was an encumbrance. Examine. This door is made from some sort of dark metal. There's an obvious hinge on the right side. Listen, nothing. No one responds to my knocks. No surprise there. Bash the door. Uh, pick the lock. There is no lock. Yes, I've already done all this. I don't know why it was all black again. If only I had an actual crowbar. Examine the hinge. Well-constructed hinge and pin combination. The door, blah, blah, blah. Pin as a cap to prevent its removal, pry it off. Yeah, I would break my tool before I could pry it, pull out the pin. The cap prevents its removal. Use my thief kit. My hacksaw won't begin to saw through the middle on this hinge or pin. The rest of your tools are equally useless. Yeah, I've been here. Oh, I meant to buy more healing and stamina pills, but I didn't. Been here before. Uh, the dagger is useless. Yeah, I didn't think anything would have changed from now being able to breathe water, but it did seem like it was perhaps worth a try. <laughs> the thing is, the Atlas armband should give me the strength of a thousand men, but apparently not enough strength to, to open this door. Oh, I couldn't examine this hinge before, could I? Pry off the hinge. Hmm. It's too difficult to remove with my bare hands. What about with my thief kit? Needs to be loosened before my tool will help. Can I use oil underwater? <laughs> Does that make sense? Getting the oil to go where you want is tricky underwater. However, with some effort, your oil begins to work into the edges of the hinge where it holds the pin. I swear I couldn't access this before. Hmm. Hmm. So that didn't quite do it. I did loosen it, I got some oil in there. I mean, surely that was something, right? Maybe if I use the toolkit directly? Your tool twists the pin in the hinge, loosening it greatly. However, the oil works its way to the top and soon you can't get a grip on the pin with your tools. They keep slipping off. Okay, so now I, now the, the oil is a problem? Uh, <laughs> interesting. Can I get rid of the oil now, somehow? Uh, hmm. What do I have that could help me open this? Can I try just more? Your tool twists the pin in the hinge, loosening it greatly. However, the oil works its way to the top, and soon you can't get a grip on the pin with your tools. They keep slipping off. So does that mean that now I'll be able to just pry open the door? Well, this is all new options. There, There is no lock. I don't know why I thought a lock would have appeared. Cannot force the door with my bare hands. Now I don't have any tool to use as a lever, which is unfortunate. <laughs> so maybe it's just that I needed to sort of loosen that up and then I could use a, a, a spear or sword or something as a lever. Okay, okay, let's go fetch a spear. I'm I'm not betting, but I suspect that I can now use a spear as a lever, so let's get a spear. <laughs> but before I do that, I've got a couple other things to take care of. Unfortunately, I might be a little bit too late. <laughs> uh, I didn't intend to get in at 10, 17 p.m. I was hoping to be more like 8 p.m. That's not what happened. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, it's him! He has magic! Also, future Yaw Weasel, can you put those messages on screen? It was something about I was lucky and saw him, and then I saw the glint of the dagger and presumably dodged it. Now I'm concerned, he is directly trying to take my life. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm fine with him killing everyone else in the world, so long as it's not me. 
Because I'm very important to me. And also this game. <laughs> now, obviously, it's far too late to set a bet for tonight, but... I would like to know when Elsa is next up. Okay. So... Uh, th wait, which day is it? I guess it must be this day. Or this day. <laughs> uh, no, I think this would say today if it was... Oh, wait. Surely, surely somewhere it says what day it is. It's day 23. Okay, so day... Wow. Look, all of my skills have improved since the last time I bothered to look at this screen. Uh, anyway, so tomorrow Elsa will be in the... Uh, in the thing. So I can tr talk to her there, maybe, and try to woo her, win her heart. Hello, goodbye. Now I have something else I want to do because it's night that I couldn't do if it weren't a night. And for that, I'm gonna go to Science Island. <laughs> now I discovered in fast motion that if you come here at night, this is not Dr. Pretorius. This is Dr. Mobius. Hello. I have no time for stupid social noises. Save them for those with nothing better to do. Great. How are you? I am Dr. Mobius, the greatest scientist on Science Island. Unfortunately, that understates my true genius since I am surrounded by dolts. Fortunately, most of them have left me in peace at last. Okay. What do you know about pizza? You reveal the depth of your ignorance by asking such a question. Every two-bit researcher knows the importance of pizza in scientific research. Pizza is the ultimate fuel. Someday we will invent cars, airplanes, even spaceships. Undoubtedly, they will need pizza to get anywhere. Of course, the pizza needs sufficient fire to achieve its full potency. Pepperoni and jalapeno toppings, those are the secret to a truly world-dominating pizza. Everything else is incidental. Those are incendiary. So that's what I've been hinting at. That's what I found in fast motion. This guy, Dr. Mobius, liked the pepperoni and jalapeno pizza. Science is the ultimate power. It bends everything else to its needs. Watch a glass blower make hard glass melt by applying a little heat. That is science at work. Yes, it is. Tell me about Gort. Ah, Gort. Now there is a truly worthwhile specimen. Have you noticed his magnificent upper body development, the finely tuned coordination in his extremities, and he manages to keep his mouth shut, unlike some. Most notably yourself. Tell me about Science Island. We created this island to keep out the prying eyes of jealous neighbors. Here we can pursue our research and experiments without fear of offending some petty peasant. You can find the results of past experiments everywhere around here. Just remember, there is no such thing as a failure in science. Only evidence against one hypothesis in favor of another. True. Okay, bye. Had enough of science for now? I shouldn't wonder. You may safely assume that science has had enough of you as well. What a dick! Well, even as such, I've got something for you. It is a pepperoni and jalapeno pizza. Yes, it is a pepperoni and jalapeno pizza. The ultimate blend of science and art. If we could but harness this power, we could rule the world. Care for a piece? Okay, so now I have appeased him. The other thing I found in fast motion is that he wouldn't let me touch anything. And in particular, he wouldn't let me touch this, which is a telescope. So let's see what happens now. Aha! I can do something I couldn't... I can see the cow jumping over the moon. Did I really do all of that so that I could see... this? Hi, Gort. What's up? Don't touch that. You could set off a chain reaction of cataclysmic proportions. You mean don't touch Gort? Don't touch that. Yes, that's you that's could... exactly what he means, apparently. O okay, I was really hoping the telescope would be something. Here's the microscope, by the way. Also, I saw this in fast motion. There is my own eye. There are some micro uh, some microorganisms having a party. I don't know what that is. 
And my own eye again. Great! <laughs> well, maybe you'll be friendlier with me now? Or maybe not? I have no time for... Why did I bother? <laughs> I guess I would I guess that unlocks the same thing as the anchovy pizza the the anchovy and artichoke pizza does with the daytime scientist. Great. I don't suppose Captain Jerkface will be hanging out back here again. No. <laughs> well, you know, it was. Good evening, matey. What can I be doing for you? It was a, a nice thought. You got anything new? No. I'm pretty much as always. Good for you. Chief Thief competition. I would have to give one thousand eight hundred eight to enter. Oh, I see. The idea is like you need to. Oh, who cares? I don't. I. I know I should care about being chief thief. Sorry if you wanted me to care about being chief thief. It just doesn't seem that interesting to me. Hey, I got a coin. Bye. You, wake up. I need to speak with you. Hello! I found Elsa! I am being watched, so I had to make certain no one sees me speaking with you. I believe that my sponsor Minos is behind all of the problems in Silmaria. Ruh -ruh. He acts kind to me, but I do not trust him. He knows too much about what is going on here. I also know he does not like you very much at all. It would not surprise me if the assassin tries to kill you next. Well, he already tried. You are the biggest threat to Minos. You may be the next king here. I want you to be the next king here! I didn't mean to keep succeeding! Okay, last time- oh, I can't save. Last time I tried to, uh, talk to her, I was interrupted many times and ultimately couldn't shower her with gifts. So now it's just gifts immediately. These flowers are lovely, although rather crushed by your backpack. I guess I should thank you for them. I'm not used to anyone giving me such a simple gift. I am grateful. You are extremely generous. You have shown me more than enough kindness. I do not need for you to give me anything. But it is nice that you have done so. Oh, I've got more for you, I hope. <laughs> I don't have the chocolates anymore because I had to give them to, uh, to Kerberos. <laughs> uh, what else might she like that I have in my inventory? It feels just so stupid to give her jewelry. Why would she want jewelry? How about a simple gift, the bead necklace? What need have I of this? No, thank you. Okay, fine. Then the jewelry it is. <laughs> what need have... Hmm. I mean, the flower worked. And I can't ask her to marry me right here and now, can I? <laughs> I all the, the gifts I've given her are I let her win a right and I gave her a flower. Nah, I mean, it's something, but it's not quite marriage worthy, is it? Even by the Sims standards, that's pretty low. How about hippocrine water? What need have I of the What need have I of hippocrine water, you idiots? Hmm. Hmm. I really don't have anything else that you might Well, let me try giving her the set of magic seeds just for giggles. Oops, like that. What need? Okay, fine. Then I'm gonna try to marry you again. We hardly know one another. Oh yes, I know you are a hero many times over. But what are you like as a person? I'm a thief. How do you know you could live with me if we have hardly spoken to each other? Please let us learn to love each other. Okay, fine. Well, it would definitely right to give her the flower. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't quite the Sims, so I can't just marry her because I gave her one gift. Hello. Oh, uh, should I try and kiss her? This is not the time for such things. I am not some flirtatious harem girl. This is strictly business. But I'm a flirtatious harem boy. Whoa! We have a long conversation to have here. Hello. Are you always so polite to someone who breaks into your bedroom? Or only to the women who do so? 
Particularly to the men, actually. Ah, yeah, tell me about the king! Make no mistake, I will do everything I can to become king here. I want you to be However, king! I will do this the right way, the proper way. I will earn the kingdom fairly, or I will not accept the title. Okay. You and I may be allies, but we are also competitors. The best of us will rule Silmaria, and I believe that will be me. Unfortunately, I believe that'll be me, even though I want it to be you. <laughs> so tell me about this threat. I believe that Minos wishes to be king of Marit. His family once ruled this island, and he believes that he should as well. He is trying to use me to gain control of the kingdom, but he is learning that I do not follow orders very well. I'm not such a good little girl as he first believed. Hmm. The assassin? I have not had the pleasure to see the assassin, but I am looking forward to the meeting. I too carry antidote, and I'm very capable of making him pay for the deaths he has brought here. Yeah, <laughs> how about yourself? I must be very cautious. I cannot be seen speaking with you again. If Mina suspects that I am working with you rather than against you, I think both of us will be the target of the assassin. Hmm. So, this Minos guy seems like a bad person. <laughs> Minos was not pleased that I aided you with the Hydra. He has invested a lot of money in getting me here. He wants me to win by any means possible. Minos is not a very good judge of character. He knows that I led the brigands in Spielborg, although I do not know from where he got this information. He believes I ran the brigands to overthrow my father. He thinks I'm a rogue without scruples. No, that's me. I do not intend to alter this opinion. If he believes me to be a villain like himself, he may confide more in me. When I have the proof that he is guilty, I will make him face justice. Why? I just wished you to know my suspicions in case I am killed. If I cannot prove that Minos is guilty, then you must do so. I don't want Besides, you to die. <laughs> you and I could be friends, if it were not that we always seem to be playing on the opposite sides. We could! And I'm not a good guy anyway! <laughs> you are correct. I must be returning to Minos' ship before I am missed. I will see you in the Hall of Kings. Take care. Bye. Elsa puts out the torches and softly sneaks out of your room. How did she get in here anyway? Maybe she's almost as good a thief as I am. I mean, I pick my own lock every day. <laughs> you awaken much refreshed early the next morning. That's the normal message. Okay, so that was a thing. What I was actually trying to do all along is uh, buy a spear and probably also a sword to hopefully break open the, uh, the, the, the gate there. Okay, off to buy some weaponry. There are, there are layers here I didn't expect, but I'm glad I managed to, uh, at least slightly woo Elsa. I didn't, you know, in spite of my numerous attempts to marry her with basically no relationship, I'm glad that she understands that this game is not The Sims, even if I don't seem to understand that so well. She's never here! Hello! Good to see here, Omar. Isn't it, though? Oh, nothing new. She doesn't seem to have gotten Toro involved in this conspiracy, probably because he doesn't actually, you know, matter. <laughs> no offense, Toro, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, and I can't marry him either, in spite of my numerous attempts to try. <laughs> hey there! I need, I, I guess, a sp I just can't think of what else I would need. I kind of want, I've got plenty of money, I'm just gonna try and buy the magic spear, why not? It's worth a lot more than you're offering. Pay me, we gotta do Whoa, I was not expecting him to agree with 325, but he did. I am also gonna buy a cheap sword. It's worth a lot more than you're offering. We got a deal. Wow, he seems really easy to, uh, to get to agree with things. <laughs> Uh, I bought the magic spear just because I I might need that to fight underwater anyway. Okay. Uh, I, well, let me just wander aimlessly like an idiot. Okay. <laughs> now I have the spear. That's what I came here for. So let's quickly save. 
And then, let's quickly fast forward back to that gate. It's a really beautiful day. The stars are smiling on us. Erasmus and Chakra are sleeping like babies, and soon they'll get better. That lethe water was just the stuff. Yay! I actually just came here to buy some more potions. Okay, we're back here again. Let's look at this hinge. Uh, I don't know if I need to redo this stuff, so let me just redo this stuff just in case. Okay. I begin to work the edges where they need to be. Okay. And the spear does nothing. Oh, the spear does something! <laughs> the magic spear was... Oh, oh god, the triton's here. The, there are several tritons here. I was not expecting... Let me just go around them. Let me just go in anyway. Oh god, okay. Let's distract them. You come over here. Now I'm just gonna go in regardless. Bye! Don't follow me in, please. But you enter the blackness of the tunnel. Fortunately, you see that the passageway laws are luminescent, allowing you to find your way. <laughs> and ignore the student stupid tritons. You feel like you've been swimming for miles and miles along an endless passageway. Suddenly, there is light in the distance, and you quickly make for the exit. Okay, I can't actually sneak. I just clicked the sneak button. I would like to sneak, but I cannot. You know what? It's time to save! Okay. Game is saved. All is well. I'll just pretend like I can sneak. <laughs> so the last panel, I don't know if that's the first from this direction or the last from this direction, has a secret passage. The stonework is unmoved by my actions. Maybe it's not this last panel? <laughs> maybe it's over here, or maybe it's uh, over that? Mm. Even with more leverage than you can get underwater, you still wouldn't be able to move this wall. I know, but there's a secret passage in it! Uh, that's not behaving much like a secret passage. <laughs> Fine. The swimming is so weird, because you can't actually swim up and down. You just... there's like a preset area in which you can swim. Wow, okay, I can go up here, apparently. <laughs> that was unexpected! <laughs> What's this thing? Don't you go over there! The Triton will see you! Uh, hmm. Well, I'm clearly gonna be seen by that Triton. I can't even get behind him. Well, maybe I am behind him. This is so ridiculous. I'm not even being sneaky! <laughs> That's the thing with the shell! So there- I didn't even use the secret passage. I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> well, by being the sneakiest human being ever to live, I've found what I need. <laughs> Egad. So, there's a secret passage in this that will take me directly to the throne room. An enormous conch shell sits atop this underwater tower. Poke it! Poke it with a stick! <laughs> poke the shell! Poke the tower! Poke this thing! I know that there's a secret path. Where are you going? You just gonna swim like an idiot then? <laughs> oh man, the, the controls have never been more frustrating. What is... hmm... I mean, I've gotten this far, which is pretty good! Oh, I'll bet I needed to be back there. This is all the secret passage there. And I just got right in! <laughs> good thing the controls are weird! Oh, no, I'm not actually in. I just got a bit higher than I was before, that's all. Hmm... Okay, okay, let's, let's go back! <laughs> I'm very confused, can you tell? <laughs> So there must have been a way to get onto that passageway up there. That is the secret path I needed to get to, I assume. Luckily, my incredible sneaking skills apply underwater. <laughs> so I... and in spite of the fact that I have a glowing spear... Oh, he saw me. He saw me. 
So much for being sneaky. Just leave me alone. I'm just an invader. Don't worry about me. I'm just an invading marauder. I'm nothing to worry about. I'm just someone trying to destroy you and your way of life. It's no problem. No. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll kill you then if you insist, you bastards. <laughs> Oh wow, holy crap, this spear is super effective! <laughs> oh my god, this is kinda brutal, actually. Get back here, you jo- oh my god. That was terrible. Oh, a mana potion, that's completely useless to me! <laughs> wow, okay, I brutalized those guys, I feel kinda bad about it now! So, somewhere in the last panel here, he said, there is a secret passageway. It must be this. Mustn't it? Oh, to hell with it. I can kill these guys quite easily, I have just discovered. So I don't need secret passageways. I'm Yaw-Weasel. I can just come in, guns blazing and or magic spear blazing and kill anything, apparently. But you know what? We're gonna have to do that next time. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, I've got hundreds more. Just click that channel button. Cheers from Yaw-Weasel.